Okay, so before we jump into distance travel, uh, we'll, I'll briefly comment on describing positions in one dimension as well. Uh, earlier, we've shown in two dimensions how you basically how do you need to prop what you need to do to properly describe a position is you need a coordinate axis, you need a origin point, and then you describe it with a vector. Okay, but in one dimension, you can sort of get away without doing a vector because if you all you still need a coordinate system, which is which is uh, just the just the x axis, and you still need the origin. Um, so let's use that point as zero like that. Okay, and um, if you go from uh, so if I if my house is located over here, right, then all you need to do is say x equals to four like that. Um, uh, in, in fact, so you don't need R, you just need X because you remember, um, if you are in 2D, you have the X and Y component like that, right? So I can just say X like this, right? I just use the X component of it if I'm doing, or if, if you're describing motion in one dimension, just along the Y, you can just use Y equals to something, right? So I can say X of the house is equals to four. And uh, if my school is over here, Again, it's a box. <laughs> Let's say it's at negative three, then I can go like x of school is minus three, like that. Okay. So just like the coordinates of vectors, the, the components themselves, right? That's the vector. The component themselves can be negative. Um, and uh, yeah, so so that's that. Um, so that's describing the positions of thing. Um, uh, of things. Uh, and uh, so think about this, if you're talking on the phone, you can completely do this with a friend. You can say, draw an axis and draw, draw, draw X axis anywhere, call it zero. And um, on a scale, when I say one unit, I mean one, one inch or one centimeter like this. So uh, draw your X axis with a scale, an origin um, of one centimeter, so everything like this. Once you're set up, um, draw your house at X equals to four and uh, draw your school at X equals to minus three. And this is very precise. You can describe the positions unambiguously. You will be looking at an identical picture as your friend, right? The scale may be different, but you'll be looking at basically you will have the same number of units as your friend and you'll be extremely accurate. So uh, displacement is S, right? And remember it's uh, defined as or identical to um, uh, final minus initial. I used R before. Um, Put you get you comfortable with this notation. It's a change in the position, right? So that's final minus initial. What's my final? My final is the school. My initial is the house. And let's plug this in. Um, uh, so this is minus three, and um, and I uh, that's four like this. So what's the result? It's minus seven. Can you see it on over there? I think so. Just about. Uh, I'll write larger next time. Um, uh, yeah. So s is minus seven. Does, what does that mean? Does that make sense? Well, let's see. So the displacement is final minus initial. So I'm going from initial here to here, right? So I'm moving this way, right? So does that what that what that does that make sense? So the displacement is minus seven. So I'm going minus seven units over here. Okay, so what does the minus sign here, here means? That basically is telling me the direction, whether if that's plus or minus, um, you can flip that around. If I'm going from the school back to my house, right? So um, let's do S prime and I will leave it for you to check, right? So this time change the, um, the, the change is different, right? The, in, the initial is starting from here to there, right? Try to plug in the numbers yourself and convince yourself you'll get plus seven this time if you follow the formula, okay? Do that yourself, make sure you do that um, and uh, try that out. So the minus and plus tells you in one dimension, it tells you the direction, okay? Um, here's a quick warning is this doesn't work in two dimension. Um, uh, it's a very common mistake students would go like, um, I, have a, I have a vector, um, the vector is positive. That, a vector cannot be positive or negative. A vector has a direction. Um, and when you say vector, I, I presume you mean more than one dimension. Usually, that's the that's the idea, that's the connotation, that's the understanding. Um, because with it, with just one dimension, you can kind of get away with doing everything with scalars. Okay, so uh, a vector cannot be positive or negative. You, um, a vector has direction, but just saying the direction is positive or negative has no meaning in two dimension. 
right? You, if something is pointing, right, uh, 45 degrees above the positive x-axis, is that positive or neg negative? Or um, in, let's say in the second quadrant that way, right? Is that positive or negative? You, you can't, that, that has no meaning. So don't say a vector, anything. Um, sometimes uh, if you have a two-dimensional force, I hear very, uh, a common mistake is people will say, oh, the force is negative. That, that if it's 2D, if it's 1D, I will understand what is negative. It's either that way or that way, right? Um, but if it's 2D or 3D, there is no such thing as a negative arrow. <laughs> um, a ne sorry, negative direction arrow uh, like, uh, that way. All right, so you know what I mean. Um, okay, um, and finally, what is the distance? Well, um, let's start with the displacement of going from the house to school first. Well, even though um, this is in one, this is a special case in one dimension, even though um, the displacement is negative seven, um, then the distance is the magnitude of it, right? So the magnitude is, well, the man, uh, or the magnitude or the absolute value of this is just seven. So even though I'm going backwards by seven units, the distance is still seven. So that's the difference between distance and uh, displacement, okay? All right, so uh, I'll talk about what is, uh, what's the annoying um, slight difference with distance travel in the next video.